Hey everyone, Sam here. In this web series, we'll solve common web problems with standards. These techniques are part of the web platform and work with any framework or library. All right, let's go. If you're out of space for text and want to use icons for better internationalized actions, that's great. But there's an overhead. You know, I'm a good web developer, but I'm a pretty rubbish designer. So that's where icon fonts come in. There's many icon fonts out there. Google has released the Material Icons font, which, because it's a font, provides hundreds of scalable assets. You know, like phones, planes, stars, actions, all sorts of symbols. These just drop in anywhere on your site. And you can use this format, which ensures the icons still have semantic meaning. You can also include the font like any other custom font, or as part of your Google Fonts API loader. Like all fonts, these icons are just vectors. You can bold them, color them, or scale them. But to ensure good accessibility, be sure to always add an alt tag so that folks using screen readers can still understand that your fingerprint icon is actually meant to mean the world's most confusing maze. It's important to remember that these are not emojis. Emojis are wonderful, but they'll look different across platforms. But as fonts, these icons will look the same no matter where you are. Use icon fonts when you want cool vector-based icons for your site, and you need them to look the same everywhere. That's icon fonts, the standard way. See you on the next tip. I meant to do that. If you're out of space for tech, use these fonts when you grow. I need to write it down. <laughs>